So to divide this cubic polynomial by this linear polynomial, we talked in class that we have four different ways to think about this with an emphasis on the third way, long division. All right? So we're going to start by thinking of the cubic function as f of x, the linear function as g of x, and this rational function, r of x, as basically just uh, you know, the cubic divided by the linear. When I put this function into my graphing calculator, into Desmos, I see that I get this function, right? This function looks like what? Quadratic. quadratic. So the quotient must be quadratic, at least we think so, right? Well, from what I know of quadratics, this has a zero at x equals one and a zero at x equals three. So I think that its equation might be x minus one times x minus three which when I multiply that out in standard form would give me x squared minus 3x minus x, so minus 4x plus 3. This matches up to the y-intercept that I have, so I think maybe this could be the answer. The quotient might be x squared minus 4x plus 3 simply because I understand quadratic graphs. Method number two, factoring. If you remember where uh, when you could factor quadratics, you could always make a box, right, to multiply them and to factor them. So I'm going to attempt to make this box, except since it's a cubic, I have an additional dimension, right? So I know that this top left box is going to be x cubed. This bottom right box is going to be negative 15. Now I just got to think about matching up, all right? It's kind of like a puzzle. So what will multiply to x to give me x, x cubed? Everybody knows that? It's x squared, all right? Now if I have that, I can fill out a couple more things. x squared times negative 5 is negative 5x five. Five squared, all right? I can fill out this character over here, what times negative 5 will give me negative 15? Three. Positive 3, correct? Positive 3 times x will give me 3x, yeah. all right? Now I have to find these missing characters to find this guy right here. Well, if I end up needing negative 9x squared and I have negative 5x squared, that means that this guy must be negative 4x squared, which in turn would make this into a negative 4x. And if this cell checks out, I'll be fine. Negative 4x times negative 5 gives me positive 20x, all right? And if I combine positive 20x and 3x, I get 23x. So it looks like, once again, my quotient is x squared minus 4x plus 3, method number 2, right? Next, method number 3, long division. x will go into x cubed, x squared times, x squared times x minus 5 gives me x cubed minus 5x squared. I'm going to subtract that entire quantity. First ones cancel out. Negative 9 minus negative 5 is negative 9 plus 5. So I get 4x squared plus 23x minus 15. Rinse and repeat. x will go into 4x squared. Positive 4x times. Do you like where this is going? 4x times x gives me 4x squared. 4x times negative 5 gives me negative 20x. Once again, subtract the entire polynomial. 4x squared minus 4x squared is 0. 23 minus negative 20 is really a 23 plus 20, all right? which gives me, a, I think I'm making a mistake right here. I think I'm making a mistake right here, but it is OK. Um, was this a minus 20 or a plus 20? 4x times negative 5 minus 20. OK, let's see where this goes. All right, 23. Okay, 43x minus 15, okay? And then, yeah, there's a mistake right there. I'm supposed to get a 3x right here. I don't know where I made my mistake. All right, x will go into 3x, positive three times, and I get 3x minus 15, all right? So I think that this guy was supposed to be a positive 20 somewhere. All right, there might be a mistake right there. I didn't catch it, but I'm under a lot of pressure. I'm sorry. This looks like x squared plus 4x plus 3, all right? We'll verify that in a second with synthetic. All right, here you go. We go 1, negative 9, 23, minus 15. Synthetic division into 5. Carry down my 1. 1, 5. Negative 5 and 9 give me negative 4. 5 and negative 4, negative 20. 23 minus 20 is 3. 5 and 3, 15. Remainder column gives me 0. This is x squared minus 4x plus 3. All right, four different times. And that's how you do it. Very soon we'll find our mistake right here. I don't know what my mistake. I think my mistake is right here. All right. Um, this was supposed to be a minus. All right. 
So, um, where was it? X going to the. Uh, why is it a minus four? Why is it a minus four? Right, okay. I don't know why I have that, but there's a mistake right there. We'll fix it. Okay. Anyway, did you see? Yes? Okay.